Hello, welcome to Mental Right Financial. My name is Ali Taufik. Of course, Mental Right Financial is a community where we learn about how to make money, keep and multiply our money through personal finance knowledge, business and entrepreneurship. Welcome to join us at Mental Right Financial. observed that most financial advice are usually centered on people who are already making money. You hear something about how to manage what you already got, how not to spend all of your money, how to save from certain percentage of what you're already earning, how to invest your money. But where is the advice for those who are not earning anything already okay if you're not earning any money already or you have no idea how to earn money you know the last thing on your mind will be saving like you would never think of saving money when you you're earning no money i mean you understand this is just the truth let alone investing or multiplying what you have so your immediate thought and need is how to earn money, how to start earning money. And to earn money, if you want to be sincere, you have to be able to offer something in exchange for the money you want. So it's either you have a skill, you're willing to serve people with, so they pay you in exchange for your skill, or you have a value that you can provide that will benefit other people and in exchange in return for the value you provide for them they pay you some amount of money or you're willing to work in a job where you work for other people who have the ability to pay you so you must be willing to be able to do all any of these things i have talked about you either develop a skill or render a service or work at a job or have a product that you sell and to be able to do any of this takes time so you must be willing to first identify that yes i do not have money and the next thing is what do i need to do to have money what do i need to do to have money once you start to ask the right question of course the right answer will appear just as it is said when the student is ready the teacher will appear once you understand what you need to do what do i need to do for example do i have to learn a skill do i have to get a job if i have to get a job do I have the qualification needed to work at a job? At least anyone within my capability. Do I need to have a skill? If it's a skill you want, what kind of skill? Now, having thought about the kind of skill, you also need to understand, is your skill that type that people want? Look there's something about skill it's okay to acquire a skill but if your skill is the type that is not selling then not too many people will need then there is going to be trouble making money with that skill because you only learn a skill that maybe in a week only one person will need your service you cannot scale like that you have to learn a skill that is in high demand a skill that most people need now and a skill that will pay you enough pay you high enough to be able to cater for your need or for you to make enough money within the shortest time possible there are lots and lots and lots of skills like that find out 
which one of them can you learn now now don't be in a hurry you have to be patient you have to make sure that you learn this skill as much as possible be patient enough to know everything there is to know about that skill such that you become the go-to person, the one that everybody that I have encounter with will wish that they can have a second chance to work with you. So once you have this understanding and you're patient about going about it, you are eventually going to come out brilliant and once you're ready to go into the market i assure you you will start making money but the price to pay is that you have to be patient to learn as much as you can about that one particular skill and i reiterate again that it has to be a kind of skill that is needed by a lot of people remember the amount of people that need your particular skill will also determine how much you're going to make and because you have this skill the amount of people that will keep coming back again and again because they enjoyed your service will also determine how much you're going to make so you see this is why it is important that you have a lot of patience while learning you should be patient enough to know everything that there is to know about that that one particular skill such that you become very terrific at it that anyone that thinks about you or thinks about that particular skill the next thing that comes to mind is your name this is the place to start if you're not earning any money do not go into it with any money now 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 no 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 you are not going to be better like that yes it is good to earn money the goal is to earn money at the end of the day but you have to have what it takes not to make money just once but to keep every one human being that come in contact with you coming back again and again and again to pay you again and again and again and the only way to do that is to be terrific at what you do be excellently good at the service you render be excellently good at that one skill so much that they either come back or recommend someone else to you now Another thing you can do is to get a job. Yes, you can get a job and then start working. If you don't work, you don't earn. Yes, this is not a question of praying because you don't have money, then you pray. You have to make money. Then you can pray for increase or blessing. But how do you just pray and not work? I mean, it doesn't work. Even in the spiritual realm, that mathematics does not work. You have to do something and then you pray afterward. So get, you can get a job and then start, once you start making money or getting paid, then you can start a saving plan for yourself or you find a way to quickly rise get promoted get through the ranks and as you go up of course your money increases your salary or what you paid increases now supposing that you have no qualification that can help because i'm assuming that um you are either a graduate who has the quali necessary qualifications to get a job in a place of your dream or you do not have anyone yet provincial you just a student now if you even if you're not and you happen not to have any of this qualification you are still not at a disadvantage you can get any other media uh, mini job out there there are a lot of people who are looking for 
just support someone to work with them and they're not bothered by your qualification you just need to be good and be willing to just work as hard as possible so there is nothing bad about getting a menial job just to get you started remember you're not going to be there forever it's to, just to get you started so do not drop the pride drop your ego and get that menial job for a start you know what you're aiming at so it's less of your concern what people may think what people may say because only you know where you're headed and you know it's not going to be forever so you have to do what you have to do now to get what you want so and for you to do it, you have to grow above your ego, above, above your pride, above anything that can ever stop you. Now, this is another thing you have to do to be able to make money. And lastly, you can think of a product you can exchange for money. Now, if you look at the environment where you live, People are always needing something. People are always wanting something. So look at it. Observe keenly. Do your feasibility study. What is it that people want in the environment where you live? And I tell you, sometimes you don't have to have the capital. If you have a good character, if you have maintained a good relationship with the people around you, someone can help you with capital, however small. Someone can give you these things so you sell and return their money. But you must have built that relationship over time, built trust uh, uh, over time. Now, I, I must not forget to mention that trust is also a kind of capital that you can work with. If you have built enough trust, if you're known to be trustworthy, somehow if you approach 10 people, one will be willing to give it you give you a benefit of doubt by letting you go with some of their product, then you sell and then return their money to them. So even selling products, you don't have to start by making your own product. You can get other people's product, sell at a commission or for profit and then return um, their money to them. But you have to be trustworthy. You have to have that goodwill that will allow you to relate with people. So we don't have to have money to start selling product or exchanging products for money. These are a few ways in my mind that some of us can um, use to start ourselves on financial journey. If you're not making any money yet, I think it is time to sit down and think of what you can do and think of, think Around these three things I have mentioned, get a skill, get a job, or sell a product. Either of the three are very, very available uh, in any community you find yourself. What you only need is to sit down and think through the three of them, see which one you can do very well, and get someone, of course, maybe a mentor who have been through some of these things to advise you, mentor you on what exactly you need to do, and I think that that's a good place to start. Now, if you are not, if you're here and you're not subscribed to this channel, kindly subscribe to this channel by clicking the red button that says subscribe and then you it's at no cost to you what it means that you'll be the first or be among the first person to get notification every time i come online or post something here i do want to see you i want to watch you grow i want us to make this money and make money together affect our world positively by also becoming the change we want to see. I look forward to seeing you becoming the best you can be.